who is this statue? Does it say? He actually died in Burt on Sands on the 7th of July, 1307, whilst leading a campaign against Robert the Bruce. So, we are leaving Fallon House, which is our last stop in the suburbs of Carlisle. This is it, the last day of our walk. I think we can do it. To bonus on Solway, the last leg. Onward. We're walking now towards the Hadrian's Wall Way for our accommodation. And that sign there shows where we're going. Burby Sun's bonus on Solway. That is the end of the wall and the end of today's walk. And the end of the whole week's walk, actually. So now on a typical farm track leading. Beautiful scenery here. Absolutely beautiful farm scenery. And some thoughts about this walk. So we're on the final day. Well, yeah, we did a couple of days, 25 miles-ish. Probably a bit too much. I would add a couple of extra days. Make it like an eight day walk, probably. But those two middle sections, wow, so much history there. So much wall to see. And uh, lots of forts, so. Yeah, they're definitely, the, the central sections are the most dramatic. And, yeah, and then we have the city sections, Carlisle and Newcastle, which are interesting in their own way. And uh, then just the, the lowland towards the coast here. Um, just quite easy and flat, really. So, yeah, it's been a really great walk. Really enjoyed it. Uh, challenging in parts, but definitely worthwhile if you're looking for a long distance path to follow. So we're just over an hour into our last day walk down a nice farm track like this. Lovely walking uh, path. All right, here's the path ahead of us. We're going to stop at Burby Sands for a break. Okay, perhaps our last load of bulls we'll see on this walk. They're quite placid, they don't look angry. All right, still not a Burby Sands for our. Um, break but we soon will be i'm trying to vlog and open a gate at the same time and kind of failing nice stream here oh, that's loud loud gate closing okay right, this is burr village and here is a 12th century church it's up there 12th century that is like 900 years old apparently that church st michael's church in burr village Okay, and away we go. Bonus, seven and a half miles. That's how much further we've got to go on this walk, William. Seven and a half miles. Wow, Georgian building here. Yeah. And then the Edward I monument here, as I said, yeah, this is where Edward I was killed. I think, believe he's the king that like invaded and sacked Wales and built the castle, so I don't know what to think about him really. Was he a good king or a bad king? But that's a monument to where he was killed up here I believe, right on the border of Scotland on the Solway Firth and uh, William how are you? Painful yeah, he's got painful feet okay, so uh, we're going to have our break as soon as we find a bench I've got to say, some of the architecture uh, here is really nice Georgian architecture there in that Burr house in Burr village yeah. who is this statue? does it say? King Edward, yeah, King Edward I he actually died in Burt on Sands on the 7th of July, 1307, whilst leading a campaign against Robert the Bruce. So, Burr by Sands, the death place of King Edward I. So now we've reached the Solway Firth. This is a tidal area. The water comes up here. It says when water reaches this point, the maximum depth is three feet. So this is the worst tide that will come out here, the water. But luckily the tide hasn't come this far at all recently. So we say we've basically made it across the country now from the Tyne Estuary to the Solway Firth. 10 kilometers left into our mapping apps. 10 kilometers left, the last 10k of this journey. About 19 degrees with a breeze onward. All right, so you can actually see the sea now over there, the Solway Firth. Our goal is getting closer. We're around five miles to go now. 
Oh, nine kilometers. Both of us have painful feet, of course, but uh, the end is near. It's very scenic, this part of the world. We're still walking by the estuary. Seems to go on forever, this long road. Approaching a village just up ahead. Uh, we're at less than four miles to go now. It's good to be near the finish. So the last section of the walk, we're being picked up. Well, not being picked up. Our bags are being picked up. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah. So yeah, our bags are being picked up, so we can walk the last hour or so without bags. How nice. So some excellent news. We've just passed the uh, last hour mark of the walk. We have one more hour left to Bowness on Solway, where we reach the end of the Hadrian's Wall Path. <clears throat> so still. The last few kilometers of the walk and uh, the path that stretches off into the distance it's very strange time dilation happening here the last hour feels like a day the nearer you get to the end the, the longer it gets like some weird speed of light experiment warning fast moving tides dangerous sinking sand and blood exposed at low tide don't win the sea the quicksand and stuff indeed like at the start of the walk Near the end of the walk, Williams found some blackberries again. But there's a, the estuary in the Solway Firth, talking about the tides rushing in from there, over there. Here's Port Carlisle. It was a seaport at one time, I suppose. I guess for the, the mining that took place, I would say, in, in West Cumbria. We have to check the history anyway. So I just found out that Port Carlisle was actually a, an important transport hub. Uh, and a thriving village with a ship canal called the Carlisle Ship Canal which went all the way to the centre of Carlisle 1820s and uh, yeah. ships used to moor here so it was an important place, Port Carlisle there we are we're nearly there fantastic okay good times thoughts are very tired but it was worth it anyway. no, we're no, we're gonna go to the end we'll show you where we found an end and extend the end of the that's Okay, here we are. Welcome to the end of the Hadrian's Wall Path. Brilliant. Okay, we've reached the end of the Hadrian's Wall Path. This wow. is it. We must celebrate. It's a mosaic. Yes, congratulations. Mm, Yay. With 84 miles to Wall's End. Good luck. Go, good luck go with you. What? Well, it says 84 miles to Wall's End, but if you walk back. No. Yeah, <laughs> me there. Yeah, we'll, right, we're halfway we'll now. All right, let's go back. Yeah.